So the only thing that we can always be confident about is that we can hit a block. Whether when we, once we get down to right main stem or hit the carina, we know that we can't put that bougie any further. So when you pass this bougie, go ahead and keep feeding it until you hit that block. Beautiful. Now if you guys want, everyone kind of come up and feel at least that block, just so you know you can't pass that bougie any further. Now if this was in the wrong place, we know we could keep feeding that bougie. When we pass that bougie, we want to go on and say, okay, we found our stem, and then someone's going to pass that tube for us. So if you want to do the honors for me, just so you guys can see the whole process here. So again, two-man job. He's going to pass the tube to my hand. I'm going to go ahead and take the tube, and he's going to hold that bougie. It's not going to pull it out, but just hold it. Once I get here, if I'm hitting kind of like a roadblock, which sometimes happens, you can go ahead and have him release and twist this tube all the way to the right. At that point, it will kind of slide in, okay? And then from that, I'm gonna go ahead and hold this tube at the corner of the mouth, and he'll slowly pull that bougie out, trying not to splash me. You also notice what's a pretty cool design. At this point, obviously we'll slowly take out the blade. But you also notice what's a pretty cool design. So you'll see where this tube comes out of the actual ET tube itself. That is supposed to sit at the corner of the mouth. It was designed that way for a reason. When we inflate this balloon, we, if this was too deep in there, we don't want anything to kind of pinch it, block it, anything like that. But it'll come out right at the corner of that mouth, most only on the average patient, if this ET tube is the right size for that patient. Cool, cool.